Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GEM, the ECMWF, the GFS and ECMWF ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office 5 day precipitation and temperature. Now as we've said over the last few videos we've got a much uh, a much greater westerly theme coming up. We've had westerly winds over the last week or so but we haven't seen too much in a way of westerly winds throughout January. Um, but we're going into a, quite a big westerly phase, and we're going to continue in a westerly phase over the next few weeks. And yeah, this might be how February does set up. However, we do have a bit of a cold spell coming the end of this week. We have a brief bit of application. You can even see on this latest GFS coming out of northeast Canada, higher pressure, which is going to mean we're going to see quite a cold air mass spread southwards through Thursday to Saturday. Could see some wintriness with that and widespread frost. So we'll have a look at that. So there is a bit of a cold spell coming, but generally we. Are looking still very much quite westerly in the longer term with around average to maybe slightly above average temperatures and more precipitation and stronger winds so remember if you enjoyed my videos make sure to like and subscribe and remember to follow to as well the links in the description so if we do start out by having a look at the gfs run you can see we have a flat westerly wind i don't know how it can get more flat than this with those winds coming in left to right in from the west with low pressure to our north, high pressure to the south, a typical zonal flow. However, as we head towards the end of this week, you can see that high pressure out in the middle of the Atlantic, and we do then more of a northwesterly wind, and the air originating from Greenland, you can see much colder air mass spread through, around minus 5 to minus 10 degrees, 850 HPA, depending on exactly how far northwards you are. Further northwards, the colder the air will be. Wind tuners, especially further northwards, we see a little low pressure to develop within that, could be some enhanced snowfall, but for all areas in the colder air mass, and through Friday into Saturday, a frost. Uh, and probably Thursday into Friday as well. However, through Saturday afternoon, we do see milder air pushing back in from the west, and we go back into a more zonal westy phase. Now, of course, we will see cold air masses for a period of time, of course, um, whenever we have this sort of pattern. We do see colder and milder sectors, but they won't lo last long. Longer term, maybe trying to get a bit of a northerly flow in there, but obviously it gets flattened because the jet stream is so strong. And, of course, you see oscillating between milder and colder sectors. Nothing too unusual, what we've been seeing quite consistently over the last few days. You can see to the south, 15 degree ice firm is there. And as we are heading through February, veering towards the end of meteorological winter, of course, um, the ground is starting, very slowly starting to get a little bit warmer, especially further southwards uh, in terms of Europe, down towards Spain, North Africa. Things are starting to warm up a little bit, and that's meaning these isotherms are slowly edging their way further northwards, these uh, warmer isotherms. So, yeah, you can see that 15 degree line starting to grow, and we'll see that grow repeatedly over the, last, uh, over the next few months for peaking in around July time. Um, so yeah, we can start to see the first hints of potentially spring in southern Europe and North Africa. And of course, we still have winter uh, in the UK for a good few more weeks, and we can even see snowier weather all the way into March. But just the hints now that the northern hemisphere is slowly starting to warm up a little bit. Um, but by no means is it warm at this stage. We've still got another month or two of very cold conditions, generally for the Northern Hemisphere. So we do have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare. Again, similar with that northwesterly wind towards the end of the week, uh, this working week. And then we go into a, just a flat westerly. And again, again, you can see it does get much more flat than this. Maybe small little diving low pressure systems you can see there, potentially bringing in some named storms that's always uh always has a chance when we have these very very strong westerly flows um but again we'll have to see exactly how that does play out at this stage i don't think it's looking amazingly likely but it's always possible and um, we'll just have to keep an eye there's nothing in the next maybe five days or so indicating a named storm and of course if one does crop up we will be uh, we will be on it but at this stage it just generally looks like quite westerlies with the deepest low pressure system still locked up further northwards towards iceland again if those did sink southwards the jet stream displace even just a couple hundred miles further southwards we would bring in much much stormier weather we will still see some very strong winds you know later this week we could be seeing 60 70 mile per hour winds but of course over the northern isles of scotland which isn't too unusual of course but it's those widespread stormy conditions we're not seeing that but it is possible in the longer term now if we do have a look at the uh east of from meteo seal again you can just see flat westerly winds nothing too much of a change 
red to the south purples to the north that strong temperature and pressure gradient is just going to mean flat westerly winds potentially stormy at times um, but yeah windy rainy uh, and oscillating between mild and cold so nothing too exceptional at all and of course not really changing um does look like we are into a westerly phase now uh, and there's no real signs of it dissipating but things can change very quick very quickly but with how the stratospheric part of vortex is setting up over the next few weeks um i do not suspect we'll see any major breakdowns in a generally westerly flow at least for another week or two maybe towards the end of february but that's too far ahead really to make any um any predictions really with how uncertain this uh, this has been so far very blocked through december and even through parts of january and now going very mobile and westerly so things can change very quickly uh, but we'll have to see uh, exactly what happens with this now if we do have a look at the ensembles now if we do start with the gfs ensembles you can see there's real cold air mass moving through later this week mild at the moment but of course much colder then turning milder again then return to our average and staying generally around or slightly above average so the operation run there going up and down the control on the blue line a real proper zonal sine wave mild sector colder sector mild sector colder sector and of course that's what most of the ensemble members were going for but because of their timing is slightly out between them the exact time frame of low pressure systems milder colder sectors of course it looks a bit more of a mess but once we get into the short time frame i do very much suspect we'll be seeing a lot of up and downs we will be seeing colder conditions um, not lasting more than maybe 12 hours and we will see milder conditions not lasting much more than 12 hours um, and of course you can see precipitation is now picking up quite quite significantly actually um, towards the start of next working week um, as more low pressure sinks further southwards so wet windy and generally around average temperatures maybe slightly milder than average but of course with wind and rain it's not going to feel amazing regardless of what the upper air temperatures are showing now if we have a look at the ecmwf ensembles uh go back to the midnight runs they're fully updated um now you can see generally very similar uh mild at the moment much colder towards the end of the week and then up and down for the next couple of weeks probably more above average than gfs operations or uh, gfs runs were showing the ensemble runs but it is still generally similar around or slightly above average not looking particularly amazing precipitation pit signal is picking up as well so it is continually looking pretty unsettled zonal and around average to slightly above average temperatures um, so yeah not looking great if you're looking for any wintry weather it's been a bit of a bust so far this winter uh, and i'm sorry for that um as we did have a lot of hope but as you can see yeah doesn't look like much wintry weather will be going on in the next week or two so we do finally have a look at the uk met office run now probably this is the most important uh, model to look at today because it's showing what wintriness and cold conditions we could see later this week as precipitation is picking up um over the next uh, the next few days into the start of next week for, for wide for widespread areas really now if we do have a look at the precipitation you can see a weather front sinking southwards over the course of this afternoon and evening pepping up a little bit over the hills uh further northward snow falling over the higher ground um before that weather front clears southwards much colder air starting to dig in and we see much colder conditions rain in the south could turn to snow over some higher ground and you can see once again a lot of snow showers packing to the north around this low pressure system for early hours of thursday and friday more snow showers packing in before friday we see cloud gather and through friday evening we start to see a weather front put in push in to the east it would be still quite chilly but this will introduce much milder air and we will of course be going milder you can see those low pressure systems are further southwards which would indicate that jet stream has shifted slightly further southwards meaning colder further northwards but not exceptionally cold by any means and more rain and wind in the south now if we do have a look at the max temperatures you'll see a lot of up and down uh, some colder conditions some milder conditions now you can see today it was really quite mild actually 12 degrees in the south much colder further northward so as that cold rate is slowly sinking southwards tonight still seven eight degrees in the south around freezing in the north and by wednesday temperatures 12 degrees in the far southeast below freezing in scotland as the cold front is slowly spreading southwards by wednesday evening many areas slowly dropping into area to around freezing 
All areas though by Thursday afternoon are pretty chilly. Max temperatures 6 or 7 degrees, feeling colder than that. And further northwards, low single digits, if not around freezing. Friday early hours, going to be around freezing. Real cold, widely. And Friday afternoon, once again, 6, 7 degrees maxes and freezing further northwards. And then, of course, early hours of Saturday, as I said, frost further eastwards. All areas really still chilly though, but with thicker cloud, things are slowly on the up. And you can see by Saturday, temperatures still hovering around 6, 7 degrees in the south closer to freezing further northwards but not quite as cold because we have a milder air mass coming in you can see that really well represented for a sunday morning with temperatures around seven or eight degrees uh, the previous day's highs so yeah up a lot of up and down temperatures colder spell coming in at the end of this uh, working weekend into the start of the weekend but it's nothing too exceptional temperatures just a couple of degrees uh well probably around a degree or two below average so around five to seven degrees Feeling quite chilly, overnight frost returning, but nothing too exceptional by any means. Just cold for what we've had so far this winter. So yeah, not looking like any wintry, proper wintry weather coming up. Very zonal, very westerly, and potentially um, very wet and windy as well. So do keep an eye out for the forecast where you are, as there will be wind, uh, wind and rain around pretty much every single day um, for someone across the british isles so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon